Okay, so let's explain the weave component and how it works. So if we um, zoom in on it, you can see that there is this sort of P thing up here for the pattern that we want to do. So essentially, we're just giving, if we right click on this and we look at what's inside here, um, it just has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have six wires connected to it. And we just basically want to go down the list of wires and complete the cycle and then start all over again. So what does this mean? It means that the first three wires are the up, down, and up again for the tray pickup. So the first three wires complete the, the tray pickup cycle. Then we're telling it to do the next four wires. After it does those four wires, it's going to go back again to um, up, down, up for the paint pickup. Now you'll notice that these wires are solid and these are dashed. So the reason for that is that we only have one point for the up position, one point for the down, and one point for the up. That's never going to change. But this list is changing each time. So it's cycling through the list of points. So the first time it might go, for example, here, up, down, paint, and back up, right? So that's one list of points. Then it's going to go get some more paint, and it's going to come to the second uh, line, up, down, paint, and back up. So the reason these are dashed is because each time through the list, it updates and goes to the next paint stripe. So the weave component allows us to complete one cycle, but then the next time through the cycle, it shifts to the next item in the list, if that makes any sense. So we can have 200 sticks that we have to place, and each one might have a different position in space. It's not a problem. It's going to update the list inside these wires each time so that the robot moves to a different position. So the weave tool is incredibly useful. If we want to change the sequence, let's say we wanted to skip from the first wire to the fourth one, then we just change the pattern and we change the, the sequence inside this weave to tell it you know, how, how we want it to skip around. So it can get kind of complicated. Um, but if we keep it simple in this kind of numerical order and just want it to go down the list, um, it should work. And if you change your, um, your geometry to something else, as long as it doesn't break the pattern so that we're entering at one end of your uh, artwork, we're approaching it, we're moving down, then we're doing the list of planes in your artwork, and then we're lifting again. So as long as we maintain that pattern, um, we can use these four wires and we can connect it to this particular um, grasshopper definition with weave lists for paint cycles. So I hope that helps. That's kind of a short introduction to the weave component in grasshopper.